To many MGTOW, Nikola Tesla is regarded as an exemplar and a legend, representing the absolute zenith of what a man can achieve when he possesses the right mindset, knowledge, skills and environment to thrive in. His life serves to inspire but also, as you'll see in this video, offers cautionary examples that we can all learn from. Sadly for wider society, the impact and legacy of this genius is often forgotten, and certainly in my opinion he's not given the credit he deserves. In this video, I will be presenting some background material on the great man, whilst also providing some insights from a MGTOW perspective. Along the way, I'll be suggesting how one might extrapolate and learn from Tesla's example by focusing on key points in his life. I hope you enjoy it. Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 to Serbian parents in Smiljan, Austria, located in present-day Croatia. From an early age, it was evident that he possessed an inquisitive mind and uncanny visualisation abilities. In 1870, Tesla first developed his interest in electricity, thanks to a demonstration from his physics professor. A very gifted student, he finished his studies at the Higher Real Gymnasium a year early in 1873 and returned to his birthplace of Smiljan. He would soon contract cholera, and be bedridden for nine months, nearly dying on several occasions. Tesla's father, an orthodox priest that had originally wished for him to enter the priesthood, promised to send him to the best engineering school if he pulled through. A fire was lit underneath him, and it is evident that his confrontation with his own mortality spurred him on, building up his character and resolve tremendously. We are very fortunate in the modern era, in that for the most part, very few of us have to face our own death at such an early age, thanks to the tremendous advances in medicine, biochemistry, genetics and the like. Regardless, I think it's supremely important to recognise that an awareness of mortality can be a primary driving force towards pursuing a legacy and attaining life goals. The bold realisation that you might die tomorrow is a powerful mindset to possess in that one develops an intolerance for the petty and mundane garbage in life. You are more inclined to just get things done. In 1874, Tesla narrowly escaped conscription into the Austro-Hungarian army by running away to the countryside seeking solitude in the mountains. He used this opportunity to read Mark Twain, and he later stated that this contact with nature strengthened him both physically and mentally, which is of particular importance given his prior illness. This period of self-reflection and personal development was no doubt invaluable in making Tesla the man he eventually became, and it would appear he was cognizant of the fact. Instead of becoming someone else's tool, in this case the state, within a military environment where so often men have their character broken down, Tesla forged himself and retained his self-determination. There is much we can learn from this example. Whilst Tesla would later fall victim to exploitation, I think that this crucial period of development is noteworthy. It demonstrates the importance of reading, developing your mind and body, appreciating the great outdoors and nature, amongst other things. We all get so caught up in the daily grind that it can often be liberating just to take yourself off to the local park, nature trail and so on, to forget about the rigours of life so that you may return with renewed vigour and vitality. In 1875, Tesla enrolled Austrian Polytechnic in Graz on a military frontier scholarship. His work ethic during his first year is admirable and that he was said to have never missed a lecture, earned the highest grades possible, passed nearly twice as many exams as needed and started a Serb culture club. The extent of his application at this time was acknowledged by the Dean of the Technical Faculty in a letter to his father, commending him. Tesla regularly worked 20-hour days, from 3am to 11pm, and was shocked when his father made light of his achievements and application at the school. It wasn't until later on, after his father Malutin's death in 1879, that Tesla would find letters from his professors to his father, warning that unless he were removed from the school he would die through overwork. Obviously, Tesla was consumed by this work and it's clear to me that he enjoyed it immensely and was highly passionate about it. One simply wouldn't apply themselves to such an extent unless they had fire in their belly. Moreover, it's important to realise that one shouldn't necessarily look for acknowledgement and praise from others. The only person that needs to be proud of you is you. It goes without saying that Tesla was fascinated by the discovery of electricity, particularly Michael Faraday's work on electromagnetic induction. Tesla would later expand and build upon this with his alternating current system. His early theories on the concept were often met with derision on the part of his teachers. His early theories on the concept were often met with derision on the part of his teachers, with many casting doubt on their merit and feasibility. 
At the end of his second year, Tesla lost his scholarship and became addicted to gambling. He would come to lose his allowance and tuition money during his third year, but successfully gamble his losses back. When exam time arrived, Tesla was unprepared and unsuccessfully asked for an extension. He never graduated and didn't receive his final semester grades. Ashamed of his failure, Tesla left Graz in December 1878 and severed all relations with his family, moving to Maribor and working as a draftsman and gambling in his spare time. His father found him and begged him to return home, but he refused and eventually suffered a nervous breakdown around this time. Over the next few years, Tesla worked a range of different jobs, including teaching students at his former school. His father died in 1879 at the age of 60. We can learn a great deal from Tesla's experiences here. Addictions of any kind can be deleterious when taken to the extreme. They can jeopardize and at worst obliterate a promising career. Tesla misdirected his enthusiasm and it cost him a substantial amount both financially and emotionally. Following a position at a telegraph company in Budapest in 1881, where he was employed as chief electrician, and a role in France at the Continental Edison Company designing and making changes to electrical equipment, Tesla made the journey to America in 1884 at the age of 28. He identified his hero, Thomas Edison, as a key individual that could help him with his alternating current ideas and possibly make them a reality. However, Edison had built his business upon direct current and was dismissive of Tesla's theories. Tesla was hired by Edison to work at Edison Machine Works on Manhattan's Lower East Side, beginning with simple electrical engineering jobs and subsequently advancing to more complex tasks. He was offered the job of completely overhauling Edison's direct current generators, with Tesla suggesting that he could make them both more efficient and reliable, to which Edison remarked, there's $50,000 in it for you, if you can do it. Following months of work, Tesla accomplished the task and inquired about his payment, to which Edison responded, Tesla, you don't understand our American humour. Edison offered Tesla $10 a week extra, on top of his $18 per week salary, which Tesla refused and then immediately resigned. This period of Tesla's life illustrates the importance of being diligent and learning from your mistakes. In life, there will be many individuals and entities seeking to exploit, usurp, and blatantly steal from you. It's vital that you learn to insulate yourself from these parasites. In Tesla's case, there was surely an element of hero worship towards Edison, which is understandable, and he probably just wanted to impress him and be a successful mentee of sorts. It's of supreme importance to choose your mentors carefully and educate yourself on the power dynamics and harsh realities of the wider world. There are several books by Robert Greene and others it can provide more in-depth knowledge in the area, so I would strongly suggest that you check these out. If you have a revolutionary idea or concept, patent it and make it your own instead of allowing your creation to be usurped from you. It happened to Tesla in this case, it happened to comic book writers like Siegel and Schuster, and one could make the argument that in many instances, the individual creativity of employees has been misappropriated. Steve Jobs comes to mind and many others. Don't let this happen to you. Upon leaving Edison's company, Tesla was partnered with two businessmen who agreed to finance a company in his name called Tesla Light and Engineering, the fruits of which were the first patents issued to Tesla in the United States, 22 within a period of five years. This was the most significant contribution pattern-wise since the telephone. Against this backdrop, Tesla pursued and built towards his novel AC motor. However, his investors were not very concerned about new types of motors and electrical transmission equipment. They would eventually force Tesla out, leaving him penniless and usurping his patents, as he had given them up in lieu of stock. He was reduced to working a range of electrical repair jobs and ditch digging for $2 a day, an experience that would haunt him in later years given his level of education at the time, particularly with respect to science, mechanics and literature. As stated previously, the world can be a harsh and unforgiving place, especially when you put your faith in other people, without observing the due diligence and discretion. Oftentimes you'll be extremely disappointed and suffer dire consequences. Frankly, I find this phase of Tesla's life to be depressing and outright sickening. I need not remind you though, that the world doesn't owe you a living, you have to go out and fight for it. And this hardship would no doubt build further character in Tesla despite the fact that he was scarred by these events, yet he importantly kept his pride intact. The industrialist George Westinghouse 
was one of the few men genuinely interested in Tesla's work and offered to buy all of his patents with regards to the AC system for $1 million. This was the beginning of Tesla's journey towards fortune and fame, drawing broad admiration as well as envy. The War of Currents would begin when Edison attacked the work of Tesla and Westinghouse in the late 1880s and early 1890s, referring to it as dangerous. In 1893, Tesla gained the opportunity to demonstrate his invention to the public at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. It was referred to as the most incredible display of lighting the world had seen. Tesla won the War of Currents, and one might say he got his revenge on Edison, but Tesla moved forward onto his next ideas and projects. Much of Tesla's money was reinvested into new things, with varying degrees of success. His later work would include the Tesla coil, the development of early X-ray imaging techniques, the conception of radio technology, of which he wouldn't receive credit until 50 or so years later, experiments with wireless communications, and many other things. He often aimed too high and failed, a modern Prometheus, yet this is a great mindset to strive for. If you aim too low, it's extremely likely that you will underachieve, a far worse crime in my view. Regarding his private life, Tesla was a notable and intriguing bachelor his entire life, and he himself stated that, I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. He was nevertheless attracted to women, and they were to him, but he was always more concerned with his work. He claimed that he destroyed his sexuality at the age of 40, and appreciated the fact that this probably helped his career. He found all the stimulation he needed in his work, and chose to never pursue or engage in romantic relationships. And there are many aspects of this philosophy that we can emulate. In his later years, he was regarded as a mad scientist, an individual gradually losing his grip on reality. He would eventually lack the financial means to realise his ideas and depended on the goodwill of friends to survive, such as Westinghouse, who would pay his rent in his twilight years. It is sad that someone who contributed so much to our modern society, having made billions for corporations, was not recognised and spent his later years in relative obscurity. It is scandalous in my view that he was never awarded a Nobel Prize, and it is unclear whether he refused the award or whether he was simply passed over. He criticised the work of the emerging Albert Einstein, saying that releasing the energy from atoms would be a disaster for mankind, a strangely prophetic observation, given the impact of the Cold War. Tesla would die in poverty at the age of 86, yet he still lives on in his achievements and inventions, indeed in the very fabric of the modern society we inhabit, and that legacy is priceless. Whilst most of us will likely never achieve the renown and impact that Tesla attained, we can use his example to great effect. Many of us would be happy with the sole contribution of alternating current, but Tesla continued to strive and push himself, pursuing new and more fascinating ideas. His success and the scale and scope of his contributions to humanity are mind-blowing and serve as a great example of what we can be capable of with the right amount of hard work, talent, perseverance and discipline. The stark reality is that were it not for Tesla's contributions, our society simply wouldn't exist as it does today, and that is a priceless legacy indeed. Thanks for listening.